one. This Fatima, y'all. Out for another walk. Just want to show. They're doing some road work. I'm so proud of them. Y'all, we are in the middle of rainy season and they're finally doing some road work out here. I'm, I'm so proud. And I think this road is called Wulinkama. It's by Wulinkama Road. And it goes all the, it leads all the way up to the main road, which they just paved. Can you believe it? I'll take y'all up there in a minute. What is over here? I just decided to walk over here. Yes, they finally paving the road. Let me tell you, all let me tell you, in America, the potholes that y'all see, them ain't potholes. No, baby. No, them ain't potholes. You ain't seen potholes till you come over to Africa, baby. Them ain't potholes what y'all have. Y'all have little, little little just little small little holes. Things be that your holes, the holes there is like the size of marble, small rocks. Oh no. Come over here. I'll show you what a pothole look like. What we would call a pothole. So how's everyone? I hope everyone is well. As you can see, I'm out here for another walk. Wanted to chat with you all, see how everyone is doing. I hope everyone is getting their passport ready. Y'all, you gotta get your passport together, okay? Cause um, I don't know if you see some stuff, but some stuff is going down. There is a lot of movement going on. And there's gonna be some changes. Family's okay, still okay. Um, Alora still adjusting to Gambia. Y'all, okay, let me explain to you. Gambia to me is like, I don't know if any of you have been to Macon, but Gambia is like outside of Macon, <laughs> outside of Macon uh, compared to Atlanta. Okay, like to me, Ghana is Atlanta. Gambia is outside of Macon. It's slow. Now, if you really thinking about trying to live somewhere here in the continent and you just need a slower pace of life, Gambia might be perfect for you. Gambia might just be perfect for you. But if you, to me, in my opinion, if you're looking for more of a fast pace, things hustle and bustle, some other parts of Africa might be better. Um, I think I think Ghana, Accra, is absolutely, I, I, I speak very highly of Africa, I mean of um, Accra. I speak very highly of Accra. Um, Accra is one of those places where every once in a while if you want that hustle, that city hustle and bustle, that vibe, restaurants and, you know, movie theaters, malls, music fashion Accra is the place to go but if you like to do kind of like a retirement th type thing something to just chill and cheap but a place to just chill you know reset your mind reset your spirit Gambia might be perfect for that so it all just depends on what y'all looking for it all just depends on what you're looking for but Gambia is growing. Gambia is moving. It's moving forward slowly, but it's moving forward. It's 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 gonna get there. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. I do love Gambia though. All right, y'all. I'm gonna pause for a minute. Okay, sorry about that, guys. I'm trying to get the camera to focus back in and letting people walk by. Okay, so yeah, I, I, I do have a love for Gambia. I do. Because it's nice and relaxing. And y'all, it's affordable. I'm not going to lie. It's affordable. Um, I think Gambia is, is very affordable. The land is affordable. Starting a business here is affordable. Um, it, it is, it's open to a lot of ideas. Gambia... 
I would say you could bring a whole lot more here to Gambia to start a business than probably Accra. Accra, you will have to deal with some competitor, some competitors. Okay, y'all, hold on again. Okay, I'm back. So yes, you will, there's a, a virgin of opportunities here in Gambia. And when I mean a virgin of opportunities, I mean just an opportunity to buy land, opportunity to own it, uh, build on it, build what you want to build on it. Um, the one thing I will say here in Gambia, there's no zone. You know, like how we have residential zone, commercial zone, stuff like that. They don't have that here. You can literally build a store on your property. You can build a farm on your property. Um, you can raise chickens, donkeys. You can do whatever it is that you want on your property. And, and it doesn't matter where the property is located. Only place that I've seen that they may have some type of regulation zone is on the beachfront, beachfront properties. They only let you buy so many meters from the beach water and they don't sell it to everybody. And if you buy, yeah, they don't sell it to everybody. I think they're trying to be cautious about who's buying the land up. So I'm not gonna be mad about that. Not walking any particular place, y'all, I'm just walking. I probably need to head home before I get lost. And here's another building that they're building. I'm not sure what it is. I haven't been to this location. Oh, you know what? I was going to show y'all the road. Let me go back out this way. I know this is the way I came. So yeah, there's a little bit more freedom here as far as starting businesses. So let me tell you, the restaurant that I started, Mini Mart slash restaurant that I started, it, it's, it's doing okay. There's times where they're slow, then there's times where I'm busy. But that's just business, right? We have our fast time, we have a slow time. So evidently they have a season here and their tourist season is usually starts in October. So October, I do remember last year, October, um, back in November, November, December, I was busy as hell. Me and Isatu was busy as heck. Oh, my gosh, we were busy. Uh, at that time, I was selling chicken wings. I was selling, hold on. Okay. Ah. So at that time, I was selling, like I said, chicken wings, and we didn't get to hamburgers yet. Yeah, I just happened to be right here and talking about hamburgers. But yeah, we didn't sell hamburgers yet, but we were selling chicken wings. I was selling fried fish, and we were doing fine. We were doing fine. But now, since I've increased my menu, I'm just kind of curious how well I will be doing. Okay. All right, so it's a lot of stuff going on here, y'all. Um, just simpler problems here. Not, not, not any kind of major things. Simple life. It's a simple life here, y'all. Very simple. Okay, I'm going to take you all up to this road just so you can see the new road. And I know you're like, it's a road, y'all. It's a road. Yeah, but here in Gambia, it's progress. It's what it is. The Gambians did not, I don't think the Gambian government paid for this road. There's another country that came in and is paying for this road to be built. And from my understanding, they making sure this road get built for whatever reasons. But I do know that uh, Africa is supposed to be uh, creating more interstates, what we call interstate highways. That's connecting South Africa all the way over here to Gambia. So that way it can make transport of goods you know, goods, services maybe, 
easier to transport between each countries because it makes no sense that we have to ship everything to each other Gambi it makes no sense by flight by flight Gambia is only maybe a two and a half hour flight to Ghana but if you want to send something to Ghana depend on if it's furniture or whatever equipment you 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 got to ship it that makes no sense that makes no sense oh i hate the way they do these donkeys hold on y'all oh i hate the way they do these donkeys <laughs> i really hate the way they beat them donkeys anyway okay y'all we're coming up on the new road let me see we're coming I want to show y'all, and I know to y'all this is not a big deal, but it's a big deal to us. Here we go, y'all. Here it go. Here's the new road, a new interstate. If y'all would have saw what it was before, you would just be like, dang. It looked like we would have went back in the past. Back to the wild, wild west. They just finished building the roads. And it's supposed to go all the way down to what we would call kind of like uh, downtown Benjo. So they got the lights, the solar lights. They got the solar lights connected. So this road goes all the way now. It's supposed to be going all the way to the airport. So now it's supposed to make an easier drive to the airport. So praise Father from all blessings flow. They got a road. Now, you want to hear something funny? The funny thing about it is, which they still got to work out, is the way these people drive. They will drive, it's two lanes, y'all. They will drive on the other side of the lane, back and forth, and then they'll drive on the right side of the lane, back and forth. I don't think they got the concept of one road travels to the um to the left or southbound the other road travels northbound uh here's a good example look at this i want y'all to see these this taxi guy see he traveling on the wrong side of the road see see the taxi guy they don't care see they don't care And of course, y'all, the first day, and the road was not even officially open. The first day, it was like three or four accidents. And I mean, head-on collisions. Some people have, I, I don't know if they died, but there was one car accident I saw where, I'm gonna go down this road, see what this was down here. There was one car accident. It was a Toyota for, it was a Toyota um, Path, uh, what, Toyota Runner, Ford Runner. Um, that big SUV can't think of the name right now oh it, it, it was hit so hard you could tell that car was imported here it was imported from America that car was hit so hard in a head-on collision that the wheel came off the whole freaking wheel came off and it was from somebody going the opposite direction on the same side of the road and see the thing is though they'll come here start driving 45 50 miles an hour and then you got somebody that's on the other that's on the other side of you that you're facing and they they hit each other so like i said no road rules yet uh that's one of the bad to me that's one of the bads for me is there's no road rules so yeah and there's a lot of puddles uh, I should go down another road, but okay. Let's get past this. Ooh. Hold on, y'all. Because I don't want to touch the water. Yeah, this is. Ugh. Yeah, it's because I'm bougie like that. Uh, still bougie. <laughs> And don't want to slip. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah. That's the other bad, y'all. When it rains. Ooh, some of these roads are just horrible. 
Okay. All right, y'all. Well, getting ready to sign out. I'm trying to find my way back, back home. I got more videos coming for y'all. I decided what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dedicate one day, oops, to doing videos and um, make sure I keep my subscribers happy. Keep y'all happy, let y'all know what's going on in Gambia, okay? All right, y'all. Fatima out. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. If you're not a subscriber, click the subscribe button so that way you could be notified of our upcoming videos.